Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for April 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. Well, weekend reading, my two Radley Valentine decks, Angel Tarot cards for my main message, and then I pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. What that means is that I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message is for whoever's out there, you know, whoever needs to hear it, it just comes through. Now, yep, we are still living in our interesting times. That's not going to just go away. It's not like the light switch that you can just turn on and off. Um, but I do know that um, there will be light, you know, the light will come. Um, you know, we, yes, we live in interesting times. You heard me say that too. There is a lot of energy going on that, you know, that Saturn um, going into Aquarius and Mars going into Aquarius. You know, earlier this week, it, it's really, really, um, it's major changes. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, so our, our, you know, our normal has changed. Our normal has changed, and when we do get to that other side, which we will get to, we will have a new normal. Now, and if we're prepared for that, and we'll work with, together with this, we can get through this all. And again, too, connect with your higher power. This is the time. Now, three cards are face down, and whoever your higher power is, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine. Okay, three cards face down. The first and third are reversed. So let's see what we have here for my Pisces. First card reversed. The Knight of Earth. Okay, my Pisces, what do you have to get so focused on? Okay, and again, too, if you know, thank you to everyone. Thank you. The, my, the people that are considered essential, thank you for getting out there and doing what you need to do and for keeping, you know, this world together and operating. The people that are staying home, whether you're working out of your home or maybe you don't have work, but thank you for doing what you need to do to, you know, we can only control what we can control. And this is what comes up. My Knight of Earth, this is what, you know, kind of brought that to mind too. This is Earth energy. It's solid energy. It is our, our Capricorn, our Taurus, our Virgo energy, something, someone we can touch. This is, again, my Pisces. I feel like, you know, when I'm saying we can only control what we can control, this is you going into your what you can control, okay? This is you focusing on that and not necessarily, not necessarily letting a lot of the, um, you know, I mean, letting not, you know, you're, you're, work, you're working to keep your barriers up, okay? You're working on what needs to be done. You're very focused for this weekend on what needs to be done that is within your control, okay? So is that cleaning your house? It could be. Is that doing your work? Is that going out because you're essential? It could be. But it's like, you know, you're doing, I feel like this is my, my Pisces. You're doing your part in what you can control, okay? Anyway, the Knight of Earth is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Remember, make that connection. Next card is the Ten of Air. Now, air energy is Aquarius energy. You know, Saturn and, and Mars are in Aquarius right now. Um, it's also Gemini, Libra, your thought processes. It's hearing news. Tens are transitional. So something, something, whatever this is, this is transitioning your energy into becoming more of a you know, you, you have been transitioning into this leader. We've talked about it over a year ago that you were being more focused on things. You weren't as um, ethereal, ethereal, okay? I, whatever, you, you weren't, you know, you weren't so much your head in the cloud type of energy. You became more down to earth. The thing though too is my Pisces, I feel like you are seeing things in a, in, in a more realistic manner than some of the people around you, okay? Some, you know, so whatever that means. So anyway, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Tens are transitioning numbers. Something has to end in order to something to start, okay? Endings can be hard, 
Beginnings can be hard. But you, the Knight of Earth, you're very, this is very, very focused, even though you're water energy. Next card, last card, this one's reversed. Here we go. Water energy. Okay, so this is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Fluid, emotional. So it, 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 it's almost like, you know, so it's like you're seeing things as how they are. You're seeing more of the reality of the world, but yet you're seeing, I feel like you're also seeing it in a, like a higher frequency. Uh, you know, you're, you're, it's like you're seeing it more in 4, 4D, right? You know, you're seeing it at a, in a, in, with more clarity. Now, this is tenderhearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. So that, I think that's what I'm saying is that you're seeing things more on that metaphysical platform too. Even though we have the Knight of Earth, which is, means that you have to be more on the solid energy, it's like it's like your your vision has opened up to be. Um, I mean, your vision is just is not necessarily on what you can actually see and touch. It's 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 bigger than that. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Okay, so I hope this is making sense to somebody out there. Anyway, let's go on for your last card. Here we go. We're going to shuffle a few more times or at least another time. Okay, card comes out. Okay, here we go. This is reversed. The Four of Gabriel. Four of Gabriel, fire energy. And this is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined energy. This is all about celebrating. Um, abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. I, I just really feel that that my Pisces, you're coming, you're, you're, in, you're in a time of clarity, okay? Whatever that means to you. And I know this is about celebrating and such, but I feel like, you know, here you have your earth, you have your air, your water, and now you have your fire energy, and I feel like you are coming to a balance, okay? It, it, and it's like there's this, this clarity, there's this, it, it, the, real, the clarity um, of sight, um, you know, just trust your intuition, trust your intuition, okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you. To, you know, I do, I will tell you this. I will tell you. Keep your thoughts and your words positive because what you put out, it does come back. So make sure you do that too. And I want you to, as you are trusting your intuition, I want you to look at all, for, I want you to look for that silver lining too, okay? Because I do worry a little bit about my Pisces that you can get into a little bit of a depression and a little bit of a, you know, woe is me or oh my gosh. And the thing is, this energy is, you know, is such that, um, you know, and it's not, you know, it's, it's at the energy of the world. I don't want you, I want you to look for that silver lining because it will be coming. It will be coming. Okay. So this weekend, you know, very balanced. You kind of see things. Um, you see the reality of what, of the situation of the world. But again, look for the silver lining. Okay. Okay. Anyway. My Pisces. Hope that made sense. If you enjoy my readings, remember the buttons down there. Like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.